This is the FFR Trading Market Minute, and this is, a, again, a daily candlestick chart of the SPY, the ETF for the S&P 500. Again, we track this week to week. It's an overall proxy for the U.S. stock market, so it makes sense to do that. About, uh, I don't know, a few weeks ago, back on March 29th, if you go to the video uh, dated March 29th, uh, the Market Minute, I projected two upside targets for the S&P. The first target was 530. Well, we hit that today. The bigger target is going to be up there at 610, right? So that's way, way up here, right? That would be the bigger target here on the SPY, right? Long way to go there. But that 530 target, and we said last week that if we get above this, this line was kind of that resistance. I called it the bull bear line. Below this line, we'd be bearish. But if we get back above that line, which we can see we did, had a nice gap up yesterday, getting some follow through today. That is uh, breaking yesterday's high here. We are considerably overbought here on the uh, oscillator. And so, uh, like I said, we've hit that 530 area. I would expect that uh, as this moving average keeps moving higher here, uh, that thing is going to cross and we should get some downside pressure here. We've got a gap to fill. Uh, so that'll be the first kind of downside uh, target on any pullback will be this gap fill here from these two prior days here. Uh, and you've got some more gap fills back here for smaller or for uh, further targets to the downside there. So the market continues to kind of defy logic, uh, which it does sometimes. Uh, you can't fight it. You got to go with it. I was uh, bearish when we were uh, this big red candle, if you remember, once that printed. Uh, that trend line was broken. I went from being bullish to bearish, so I started putting on some bear call spreads. Uh, those have expired, um, took my profit, and uh, now I have to rethink. Uh, don't want to be bearish here. Uh, you basically got to be bullish. Now, uh, like I said, uh, we've hit that 530 target. We're overextended, so uh, we're due for a pullback. Like I said, that's the first target there. So we'll see what we get. Uh, but your bigger upside targets all the way up there at 610, that's a long way away. That's based off the monthly chart. If you go back to that May, uh, March 29th video, you can see the projections there. Some of the key economic data pieces set uh, for next week. The big one will be the FOMC minutes. That'll be on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. And then Thursday's S&P Global Manufacturing PMI and Services PMI. Hope that helps. Have a great rest of your trading week. We'll see you back next week in the FFR Trading Market Minute.